Hello lovelies! The holiday season is in full swing, which of course at my house means a ton of entertaining, and I'm guessing you're doing a ton of entertaining yourselves. Of course, this year, more than most years, at 37 weeks pregnant, I am doing a lot less cooking than usual, so instead of cooking up a storm in the kitchen, I have been putting together these epic party platters. If you've missed the last two episodes, I really hope you'll check them out. I put together a great brunch board as well as an epic charcuterie board. But today I wanted to do something special for the vegans and vegetarians who often get left out of the holiday eats. So in honor of them, I put together an incredible vegan spread that you can feel really good about and that will really leave your guests feeling full and satisfied at the end of the party. Because if there's anything I know about the vegans in my life, it's that they love to eat. For this board, I'm getting started with two gorgeous hummus ideas. Not only is hummus beloved by all, but it's a great source of protein and fiber, so it's really, really filling. Now, I sometimes make homemade hummus, but in this case, because I'm all about easy but impressive entertaining, I am actually dolling up some store-bought hummus with some really simple ingredients. And the fact is, no one's ever gonna be able to tell. To my bowl, I'm going to be adding some fresh dill, chives, mint, and finally, some parsley. You can really use any combination of herbs that you want in this recipe. It's super versatile. It's just about giving it a nice freshness and flavor and also some great color. I'm just going to hit it with the zest and juice of one lemon, give it a good stir, and it's as simple as that. I'll transfer it to a serving dish, top it with just a little drizzle of olive oil, some mint, some freshly chopped chives, and there you go. A dip your guests will be dying to dig into. Smells amazing too. For my second hummus on this board, I'm actually going to be creating just a really beautiful Mediterranean-inspired topping. Once again, of course, I've got my hummus in my bowl. Plain hummus, roasted garlic, both would work really nicely here. I'm going to top that with some finely chopped Kalamata olives and some roasted red peppers. I love this combination because, of course, Kalamata olives are nice and salty, while roasted red peppers are nice and smoky and sweet, so they're a great combination. For a little bit of crunch, I've got some toasted pine nuts topping this, and then I'll finish this off with a bit of heat, some red chili flakes to round everything out. And it is ready to be enjoyed. When it comes to dips, another one of my very favorites is the baba ganoush, which is just made with some roasted eggplant. I have a great homemade baba ganoush recipe on my website. I will link it in the description box below. But if you wanna go store-bought, that is totally fine as well. I just sprinkled a little ground sumac on the top of mine. Now, of course, we need some vehicles for all these delicious dips, and I'm doing that with a whole lot of veggie goodness, starting with some lightly steamed potatoes. I know potatoes seem like a strange thing to add to a board like this, but I love them because they're really, really filling, starchy, and satisfying, which, trust me, your vegan guests will appreciate. Next, for a ton of crunch and color, I'm loading in even more beautiful vegetables. I've got some heirloom carrots that I've just given a good wash to. As you can see, I didn't even bother peeling them. I'm just leaving them whole because they look so pretty. Next, I've got some finely sliced cucumber, some snow peas, some cherry tomatoes, and these adorable mini peppers that I can't get enough of this time of year. They are just perfect for dipping. Just to pretty up my board a little, I'm adding a couple whole artichokes to it. Obviously, these aren't cooked, so you're not going to eat them, but of course you can cook them the next day and enjoy them as a great snack. Then for even more great Mediterranean flavor, I've got some marinated artichokes headed onto the board, as well as some Kalamata olives. All of the olives are welcome on my party platters. True story. For something a little different, I am also adding a vegan cheese to my board. This is a cashew-based brie. There are lots of vegan cheeses available at most supermarkets now, so take a look and try one that you're really excited about, or even better, ask your vegan and vegetarian friends if they have a recommendation, because I'll be honest, some are better than others. To help make this board even more filling, I'm going to load in a variety of crackers, flatbread, pita bread, and some breadsticks. And then I'll fill any of my empty spots with a few handfuls of pistachios. And look at this spread, guys. Loaded with color, flavor, texture, and a whole lot of deliciousness. I hope you will give this one a try. 
If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because I always love seeing your holiday kitchen creations. Keep in mind, all of the details of this board are linked in the description box below. So if you want more information, you can take a look for them there. Stay tuned because I have more epic boards coming your way in just a few days. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.